In 1939, Maria Carolina Josefina Pacanin Zininho was born into the world of Latin American high style in Caracas, Venezuela. She grew up to become a symbol of elegance and glamour with a global reach. She is Carolina Herrera, friend of the most famous celebrities and fashion designer for the most stylish and richest women of our time, like Hollywood starlets Renee Zellweger, Salma Hayek, and Amy Adams, on perhaps the most important day of their professional lives, the Academy Awards, when Hollywood and the fashion industry unite to create unparalleled fantasy on the red carpet. The business of fashion at the Oscars has been estimated by Ad Age at over $100 million worth of promotion and potential revenue for designers. The big money industry was one subject we talked about with Carolina Herrera when we met at her office on New York's Fashion Avenue. The Oscars are something very serious that for the actors and actors who had been working the whole year to get the most fantastic award and suddenly everything has become like it's all fashion. It's not only fashion. I mean, for the fashion designers it doesn't mean anything that if they have a dress or, or, or don't. But, but how important is it for, for a designer to have an actor dressed at the Oscars by them? If she looks fantastic and she follows the instructions of the designer, then it's divine. <laughs> <laughs> but if she, they do it on their own way and if the dress doesn't fit too well, it's not good because They're the name of the designer is in that dress. It wasn't until 1980 when Carolina Herrera was in her early 40s that she became a designer, but much before that, her aesthetic of magnificent refinement and quiet luxury were staples with the international jet set. She dashed through the world's top social scene with her second husband, Reinaldo Herrera. Now her family has grown. She's the mother of four daughters and ten grandchildren. But her life, she says, is like fashion. It may look easy, but it's not. Your world, your life seems picture perfect. But there must have been hard times as well. But of course. Do you think life is easy? No. It's like fashion. It shows. It's for your eye. When you see outside a collection, oh, how divine, how beautiful. But you don't know how many hours one puts working in that and putting it together. It's very glamorous to look at, but it is a, it's not glamorous in the back. Yeah. In the backstage, no, it's not. If I had to ask you the biggest obstacle you've had to overcome? There's so many. Because when you get into this industry that I did, that this work that I do in fashion, you have to prove so many things. <laughs> and you have to deal with all the egos in the fashion world. <laughs> That's a big obstacle. <laughs> and also, I'm not allowed to have talent, you know? Because people say, why? Why? She has many things and she shouldn't be doing what she's doing. Then you have to prove your, you have to prove everyone that you can do it. That is about talent. I, I, I know you're a very <laughs> private person, but is yes. there a, a hard time you can share with us? A hard oh. time that you've had to really say... Let's forget about hard times. Let's go on <laughs> Let's go and say how wonderful happy, everything happy is and times. happy. <laughs> See, here's something I've heard from a very close source to you that told me uh, that you may not imagine Carolina Herrera squirting a Windex bottle. <laughs> yes, I love Windex. <laughs> <laughs> but that you are often seen even at the office around your house with that Windex bottle. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and when I saw that film, The Greek Wedding, Something. that the father of the bride was always, oh. you know, cleaning or going around with Windex, <laughs> and the bride, the day of the wedding, had a pimple. What's that thing? Put some Windex. Put Windex on. I think that's me. <laughs> Carolina Herrera and I Windex. I use Windex for everything. <laughs> Another thing I, I've heard about you. You heard a lot about me. Where did you hear all this? <laughs> <laughs> from good sources so far, from good all right. sources, is that you love to dance. I do like to dance. I love to dance. <laughs> I think it's a very good exercise, and it's also good for your mind. So you forget many things. I'm hmm? sure people would want to know that. How yes. do you keep looking so young, so in shape, so healthy? I love him. I think he should stay. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have to be happy with your life, hmm. first of all. I think that reflects in your attitude and in your energy. 
Because if you have a big problem and you're unhappy or something like that, then it's more difficult to do things because I'm happy. <laughs> when we come back, a new professional challenge for Carolina Herrera. She already dresses the most famous women. Now she takes on fashion for men. And she surprises me, asking the questions herself. How That's would you everything. like to be remembered? I hate it when they turn the tables. Yes. <laughs> yeah. All that glamour on the red carpet. The arrivals at the Academy Awards, a show all its own, with the potential to generate tens of millions of dollars for fashion houses worldwide. Venezuelan designer Carolina Herrera has dressed Academy Award winner Renee Zellweger and Oscar-nominated actresses Salma Hayek and Amy Adams. Top Hollywood talent teaming up with one of the most influential designers of our time. You said glamour was invented in Hollywood, in America. What, style-wise, comes from Venezuela? Caracas is a, was a very sophisticated city, really fantastic. We had everything there. We had uh, all the French fashion, we had all the jewelries, and we have everything. But we are going through hard times, but we will find our way again. Today, Carolina Herrera is finding her way into the world of men's fashion. Her line, CH, is not only for women. It incorporates clothes for men. How important is CH now for this empire? To CH is one of my favorite projects in this company. Carolina Herrera New York and CH is a whole family. And the difference with CH is that there is a lot more. We have uh, a whole collection for men as you know. I like men dressed in a classic way because I think it's much more modern than to see a man that has so many things on that you say, how, how many hours did he get that look together? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I think it's so, they look so good looking, all the men, when they are dressed with a beautiful jacket or a beautiful suit which that's what we do in CH. CH shops in the U.S. have opened in New York, Las Vegas, Miami, Dallas, Houston, and Costa Mesa, California. More are planned for the future, and it is to the future that Carolina Herrera directs her energy. She's certainly not stuck on the success of the past, nor what might be her legacy. How would you like to be remembered? Oh, how I would like to be remembered. I don't want to die. I don't want to be remembered by anyone. <laughs> Let's talk about something else. <laughs> For, living forever. <laughs> not forever, but let's not think what are they going to remember me. But what about the legacy? It's so difficult to think about that, no? Well, it's part of life, the legacy. It's, uh, yes, it's part of life, but I mean, how do I like to be remembered? I cannot answer you, because I don't know. You don't know? No. As a mother, I'm sure. Well, as a mother, always. But I am going to be remembered as a mother. That's normal, no? And as a good mother, it should be every mother is a good mother. Or should be. It's not like, oh, she's a good mother. But what? That comes with being a mother. What makes a good mother? Normal is <laughs> to be a good mother. <laughs> if you have a child, you are a good mother. And you have to take care of that child, and you have to direct that child. But it's not an extra title. She was a good mother. So what does mean? That means what? Right. <laughs> that, that it's expected to be a good of mother. Of course. I, I've touched How would on everything. you like to be remembered? As a good son. <laughs> All right. So you are as a good son. I will be as a good mother. Then. And maybe one day as a good father. <laughs> Wow, I, I hate it when they turn the tables. Yes, <laughs> I would like to work that way. Thank you, Mrs. Herrera, Carolina. Thank you so much. What started as Carolina Herrera's own sense of elegance and discipline in Venezuela has become the inspiration for an international house of fashion. Go to abcnews.com slash exclusiva for more news about Latin America and Hispanics around the world, including more on Carolina Herrera's men's line. Until next week, I'm David Puente, ABC News Exclusiva, New York. <laughs>